Hey guys, um, let me just tell you guys that I really hate Home Depot. Seriously. Home Depot hey, is probably the worst fucking customer service ever. I can understand coming in, you try to get some customer. All I want is some help. That's it. I come in there, people are getting paid to do squat. They don't do shit. They stand around, they look funny. And then they call, I've heard, I actually was in the store trying to get some wood cut. That's all I wanted to do was get some wood cut. So I go to the lumber aisle. I go look for the wood that I want. First of all, I didn't know exactly what I was looking for. So I needed some help with that. Nobody on the floor, nobody on the floor. So then me using my own damn brain, I go look and I find something that looked like it might you know, be exactly what I'm looking for for the project that I'm trying to do. I get in there and I'm looking and shit and I'm like, okay, I still look around. There's nobody there, nobody there. Now, I've already heard stories about, you know, people going in the Home Depot and them not helping, but I mean, the shit is ridiculous. I mean, like, how the fuck do they stay in business when the customer service is so fucked up? You know what I'm saying? It's terrible, you know? And I'm sitting there, and I'm still looking for what I what I need, and still nobody comes. So then, I've never actually got wood cut before at Home Depot, which is why I need help. So I get some wood that I'm looking for, so now I gotta go cut the wood. This is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, I'm at first I'm thinking that they would cut the wood for me. I'm assuming that, and then people told me that, folks would cut the wood for me but then I get in there and I'm like okay I don't see nobody around to cut the wood for me but then I'm just like nah I need you know no what I'm good leave me alone I'm so see people coming up to my car and shit panhandlers get on my fucking nerve I'm sitting in the fucking parking lot trying to make a fucking video and then somebody gonna frankly walk up to me and shit no don't even walk up to me right now I'm very pissed I'm very upset and nah, I ain't got nothing to give you. So please, please don't fuck with me right now. God, anyway, so I get, you know, the wood that I want. Trying to find out, I'm looking like, I see a cutting station, nobody's there. So I'm like, fuck it, I cut the wood my damn self. So I start cutting the wood, didn't realize, there's a lot of fucking wood to cut. I ain't trying to cut all this shit by myself. So I stopped cutting the wood, and then I go over to, uh. I go over to housewares or whatever the fuck it is over there, and I and I talk to someone and they looking at me like you need help. Now they sitting down, sitting at a desk with the phone, and I'm like, nah, I just came over here just to stare at you in your face. But yeah, I need help, you know. So um, they said, um, what do you need help? You know, you need help cutting that. I'm like, yes, I need help cutting that. So they pick up the phone, get on the damn loudspeaker, and call somebody to custom, cause they say customer service to, I guess the saw, the power saw, or whatever. Now, mind you, I'm cutting this, the wood that I had previously cut. Cut like about four or five um, planks. You know, I cut them a little bit with a handsaw. Handsaw, not a fucking power saw. Didn't even know they had a power saw in there. I'm assuming they did, but I didn't see one. So. They say customer service to the power saw area, whatever. I go over there, take these long ass planks, which are like, I'm assuming almost, what, 10 to 12 feet long. And I get over there and I'm standing over there and still nobody over there. I stand over there and I wait for a little while, still nobody comes. Next thing you know, I'm like, fuck it. I take my planks. No, I look up at the sign above the circular saw and this is what it says i bullshit you not it says you must pay for lumber before you start cutting so i'm like god how would i have known that how would i have known that because i've already cut some wood how would i have known that so i see that and me being a good customer i go up to the front and take that wood all the way up to the front to the cash register so I get up to the cash register, so I ask the lady. Now, that's the lady at the register. She's, I'm asking her, I don't know how much, you know, this is going to cost me. So I'm asking her, not that I'm getting ready to buy shit because I'm not yet. I ask her, um, how much is this going to cost me? 
And then I told, proceeded to tell her that I've already cut one, one plank. I've already cut up one plank, you know, a few times. So this is three planks. I'm ha I have three planks that's sitting on this um, long ass cart that I'm rolling through Home Depot. Um, and she says, um, after she goes through all this, she takes a good 10 minutes to figure this out. She moving like a snail. And then she says, oh, it's $11 and whatever. And I'm like, for all of it? And she was like, no, that's just for this one plank. Let me see if they both the same size. I'm like, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I don't need you to do that for me right now. I see, I can plainly see, you should plainly see, that they're all, well, these two are the same size. And I just told you that the other one I cut up and it was the same size as this. I told you that already. So basically, that's just basic goddamn, you know, multiplication. But since you don't know that, and since nobody on this damn floor will help me, and y'all customer service is fucked up, which is what I said to her, literally. I didn't really give a shit right then. Y'all customer service is some shit. I'm leaving. I don't want it. I left the cart there. I left the wood there. I left everything right there and walked about the store. And now I'm sitting in the parking lot because I cannot stand horrible customer service. Now, I have plenty stories of, um, actually, matter of fact, I am going to come through with another video soon, very soon, about a wonderful, wonderful customer service experience that I had at Chili. So please stay tuned for that video because that video is probably one of my most, uh, uh, wonderful experiences being a customer and most of my wonderful most one of my most wonderful experiences with having someone who really did know exactly what great and excellent customer service was but as of today as of Home Depot today y'all motherfuckers is on my shit list I cannot stand y'all y'all do not know how to treat customers Y'all don't give a shit about y'all customers. Y'all really don't. All y'all care about is getting a dime. And I really don't give a damn what you make an hour. I really don't care what you make an hour. Because if you make more than a damn dollar an hour, you actually applied for the job. And you actually got in there to go in there and work. And if your ass is making any kind of money, then you should take the time out to be a very good um, employee and a very good customer service representative and I feel as though that all the people that's in this particular Home Depot they represented y'all co company fucked up they really did they really did represent y'all represent your company so badly so badly I didn't get any help I could have walked around I walked through that whole store Nobody said, could I help you? Nobody said, could I help you? Until I approach someone. It should not be like that. Y'all should approach me. I shouldn't have to approach anyone and ask for service. Anyone. Now I'm leaving, trying to go some damn way else. I did want some wood. I'm about to say, fuck the wood. I don't want to go anywhere else because now you done totally soured my whole experience on getting what I need to get. So I'm going to figure out something else to do. Yeah, I'm very upset. I'm very pissed off. They they made me mad. And now I've wasted almost three hours of my time in this fucking store. Three hours of my time that I will not be able to get back. But you know what? But you know what? This particular Home Depot, which is on what's this? What's this? Oxy Hill Road? No, St. Barnabas. Oxy Hill, Maryland. St. Barnabas Road. Yeah. Over here, yeah. St. Barnabas Road, Oxy Hill Road, whatever this is. Oxen, the Oxen Hill, Maryland, Home Depot, whatever block and street this is. Right now. But, yeah, this is the one. And if you're ever in, if you're ever in Oxon Hill, Maryland, and you ever need to go to Home Depot, go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. Unless your ass know exactly what you want, 
and exactly where to get it, personally, I wouldn't even patronize them again. I wouldn't even get in here and be a patron of their damn business at all for any reason. I will drive so far out of my way to go somewhere else. I will go to Lowe's. I will go anywhere else. I will go anywhere else. I go to Costco. I go wherever. Just to see if I can get what I need. But I'm not getting it from here. And I'm very upset. And, you know, it's real bad. It's real bad that you cannot get the customer service. People are getting paid to sit around and do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to work for these people. I wouldn't want to be an employee here simply because... I wouldn't want to work around other employees that don't want to do their job. It's plain and simple. So, with that being said, this is a very random ass video. Well, it ain't really random, but it is off the random because I probably wouldn't have made this video if I didn't have such this fucked up experience. So, with that being said, I'm going to holler at you guys in my next video. Alright, peace.